from a camel with no head to a small plant that eats sheep, plus rainbow trees and lakes that turn animals to stone, here are 10 of the strangest and most incredible things found in nature. Number 10. The Tree Goats of Morocco. Goats are adorable. Have you seen the pictures of them in pyjamas? Or heard about goat yoga classes? We've all seen goats in precarious situations. These animals have an uncanny way of climbing just about anything. But there's a huge difference between goats that can climb up cliffs and goats that can actually climb up trees. There are groups of goats in Morocco that are better tree climbers than just about any 12 year old that you know. Specifically, goats in Morocco climb the Arganea tree, which is a gnarled and thorny tree with crooked branches and rough bark. These trees look like the last thing anyone would want to climb, and yet they attract goats like crazy. If you ever journey into southwestern Morocco, you can find these goats relaxing high up in the trees on extremely thin branches. And it's not just one either, there are often dozens of goats all congregated inside of the tree, seemingly for no reason. They just like to hang out there. It's one of the most bizarre things you'll ever see. But of course, the goats do have a reason for climbing. They venture up in the trees to eat the fruit. They then spread the seeds all over the ground because they're messy eaters, allowing for more trees to bloom in the future. It's all about the circle of life. Number 9. Sheep Eating Plant If you were forced to name one carnivorous plant, it would probably be the Venus flytrap, right? That's obviously the most well-known plant that has evolved to eat live animals. But did you know that outside of the swampy areas where the spectacular Venus flytrap lives, there is a spiky, tropical plant that is able to eat sheep? It's known as Poya chilensis, and it's a native plant from the mountains of Chile. However, for the first time in 15 years of trying, horticulturists in England have managed to make them bloom. That's right, there are sheep eating plants now blooming in England. But how do these prickly plants actually eat sheep? Well, according to popular science, they are not technically carnivorous like other plants, as they don't digest animal matter. Instead, the spikes on the rather sharp plants work to trap animals that pass by with thick fur, such as sheep. The unlucky sheep then starves to death, falls to the ground and gradually decomposes. When the sheep decomposes, it becomes food. All those yummy sheep nutrients then seep into the soil and the sheep eating plant gobbles them up through its root system. Again, it's all about the circle of life. Hey, real quick, if you're new to checking out the channel, welcome. Go ahead and give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number eight, the biggest lily pad ever. Lily pads are some of the coolest and strangest parts of nature, but nothing is quite as strange as the Victoria Amazonica the largest water lily in the entire world. This massive and lovely lily pad was first discovered in 1801 in Bolivia. As you probably already guessed, the world's giant lily pad can be found in the shallow water basins of the Amazon River. It also goes by the name, the giant water lily. But just how enormous is the biggest lily pad in the world? Well, it's big enough for you to sit on. The giant water lily is about 10 feet in diameter, with a submerged stalk that can be up to 26 feet in length. It's also strong enough for a person to sit on. They kind of resemble giant green Reese's cups. Unfortunately, you won't see any giant monstrous frogs hopping from lily pad to lily pad. These are more like flowers, painted red underneath their leaves with sharp spines so that the fish don't eat them. Other than just looking incredibly cool, they don't really do anything else. But they are definitely weird. Number seven, firefly squid. Perhaps one of the strangest and most fascinating things that occurs in nature is bioluminescence. There's nothing more striking than an animal or plant that literally glows like a nightlight. Each year between March and June, there is a dazzling spectacle off the coast of Western Japan in which you can actually view the firefly squid floating near the surface of the ocean. These magical looking squids glow bright blue, and it's a sight unlike any other. They often wash up on the beach, creating a luminescent blue, almost purplish glow across all of the shore. But what's even cooler is how these animals produce their light. They actually have three different organs inside their bodies that make them glow. Then they have five smaller light organs found around each of their eyes. Oh yeah, and don't forget the hundreds of tiny photophores on the skin of the squid, which produces green and blue light. When all these organs are lit up, you have a glowing squid that looks like a tiny alien monster going to a rave. Number six, the headless camel. When it comes to a list of strange things in nature, you would think a headless camel wandering around would without doubt be on it. We've all heard of the headless horseman, but nobody has ever heard of the headless camel. And yet one has been caught on camera standing in the middle of the sweltering desert in India, completely without a head. 
A photographer had been visiting the beautiful Jaisalmir Desert with his family when he happened upon the headless camel. At first, the photographer was probably pretty shocked, but as you can imagine, it is actually impossible for a camel to walk around without its head. Not only that, but you can definitely tell by the picture that the animal doesn't even have a neck to hold up a head. That's just not realistic. How can this be real? Well, sorry to burst your bubble, but the truth here is that it was all just an illusion. The photographer took the picture at the exact right time to make the camel appear as though it had lost its neck and head. But what really happened is that the camel was simply turning its head the other way, and it managed to turn its head at such a sharp angle that it vanished to the other side of its body. According to the photographer himself, he had about 5 seconds to snap the perfect photo before the camel finally turned around and looked at him, miraculously regrowing its head. Talk about camouflage! Number 5. Rainbow Trees Did you know that there are trees in Australia the colour of the rainbow? The trees are known as rainbow eucalyptus trees, and when they shed their bark, they almost look like coloured pencils with the skin shaved off. The rainbow eucalyptus tree can grow to be over 250 feet tall, with multicoloured bark and fragrant leaves that are a favourite of hungry koala bears. But what makes this tree become so colourful? This doesn't seem like something that should happen naturally in nature, right? Apparently, when the tree begins to shed, it first reveals its inner bark, which happens to be green. But over time, the bark changes colour. As the tree ages, its inner bark turns blue, orange, purple and maroon. The older the tree is, the more beautiful its bark. Different layers fall off, other layers stay on, and what you get is a spectacular visual that looks like something out of Alice in Wonderland or a Dr. Sayers book. And don't worry, if you want to see rainbow trees for yourself but don't want to fly to Australia, they can be found planted in botanical gardens throughout Texas, Louisiana, and even in Southern California. Number 4. Honduran White Bats Let's take a look at another very strange animal found in nature. This is the Honduran Bat, also called the Caribbean White Tent Making Bat. As the name would suggest, the bat is found primarily in Honduras, but it can also be found in Panama, Costa Rica, and Nicaragua. These bats are pretty rare to see. It was first discovered in 1898, but 60 years went by before it was seen again in 1963. Out of all 1300 species of bat, the Honduran White Bat is only one of three that has perfectly white fur. The bat also has bright yellow nose shaped like a leaf and bright yellow ears. It truly is a striking animal to look at. But what you're probably wondering is why it's called the tent making bat. According to Fact Animal, it gets its name because of how it builds tents out of plant matter that it finds throughout the night. The bat cuts the plants carefully with its teeth to form a small structure for it to hide in, sometimes in groups of up to 15 cuddling together in one plant tent. They roost inside the plant tent all throughout the day until the night, when it then goes out and scavenges for fruit. Number 3. The Never Ending Wave Some surfers spend their entire lives searching for the perfect wave. But what nobody knows is that deep in the Amazon jungle of Brazil, there is a very strange natural occurrence known as the Never Ending Wave. Each year, around the spring equinox, a single giant wave surges from the Atlantic Ocean down the Amazon. It is the perfect place to surf considering the wave is literally endless and stretches on for hundreds and hundreds of miles. When you're dealing with a wave in the ocean, you usually only get to ride it for about 15 to 30 seconds. This is according to a professional Brazilian surfer named Sergino Laos, who first started visiting the endless wave back in 2000. But the endless wave in Brazil, known as Pororoca, is a tidal bore that can reach up to 15 feet in height and goes on basically forever, allowing you to surf for as long as you can. The wave is so intense that it has been known to break trees in its path and cause all kinds of mayhem. It's also located in a region thick with jaguars, deadly serpents and even red-bellied piranhas. You can definitely surf the endless wave to your heart's content, but one wrong move could have you swarmed by deadly man-eating fish. Number 2. Turned to Stone Here we have another strange body of water, but unlike the endless wave in Brazil, Lake Natron in Tanzania is not really a place you want to enter. It's one of the strangest, most serene lakes in all of Africa, and it's filled with the petrified remains of animals who were silly enough to try and take a bath in it. This lake literally turns animals into stone. According to Live Science, Lake Natron has a pH level of around 10.5, which means it's so caustic that it could burn your skin and eyes just by taking a short dip. The lake is surrounded by hills, and it has no way of draining other than evaporation. This means that over the past few thousand years, chemicals have built up on the bottom of the lake. It is so full of chemicals that when a regrettable bird accidentally flies into the water, it gets trapped and dies. 
but then the body becomes petrified. The petrified bodies of all these dead birds eventually wash ashore, where they can be ogled at by tourists. The point is that even though the lake may look beautiful, it's a strange death trap crafted by Mother Nature herself. You better stay out. Number 1. Webbed Trees It's bad enough when you find a spider web in the corner of your bedroom, or heaven forbid in the shower. But there is a place in Pakistan where millions of spiders encased full trees in webs, making the solo web in your shower look like nothing but a stray hair. It's the most horrifying thing you'll probably never witness in real life, and I doubt anyone's too shook up about that. According to Wired, it all happened in 2010, when there was an unprecedented flooding in the country of Pakistan. The flooding disrupted the lives of at least 20 million people, and it also affected the spiders. Considering the floodwaters were coming and there was nothing the spiders could do, they ended up climbing into the trees to escape. The result of this mass exodus was that the trees in the region of Pakistan became cocooned in millions and millions of spider webs. If you were to shake one of the branches, you would have hundreds and even thousands of spiders falling all over your head and onto your clothes. And now that I've succeeded in creeping everyone out, it's time to end the video. Thanks for watching. Which of these strange natural phenomena is the most captivating? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, and be sure to subscribe and come back soon for another amazing nature video.